concluded the postmortem of the two young men uh, from Kianjokoma. The family had their pathologist, Dr. Mwangi. Uh, Imlu was represented, that is independent medical legal unit, was represented by Dr. Ndegwa and, and uh, who? Doris, Namu. Doris Namu, who is the EMBO representative, and we also had uh, Aipoa. Uh, so, and uh, the family would wish that the findings would be relayed by the family pathologist. Yes. And it was successful, and we were all in agreement with our findings. Far so good. Uh, Post-mortem has been done. And uh, we are grateful to God. We know he's a real God. And we believe the truth will come out soon. Yes. It will come out soon. Post-mortem report will be made available to you by our pathologist, the one who was representing us. But I can tell you without fear, from the report, the truth will come out soon. We have taken body to Henry uh, funeral home for preservation as we prepare ourselves for burial. Uh, as a family, we are only telling, crying to our government. We know it is able and we want uh, them to do investigation. If there is anyone involved, let them be taken to court so that uh, uh, our late children can get justice. We have had the postmortem report, the postmortem done on the two bodies, one for Benson and the, one is, and the other one for Emmanuel. Uh, Benson, who is the older son of the family, his body had multiple injuries. There were head injuries, there were broken ribs, and then there were uh, injuries at the leg, and, and there were bruises in the body. Uh, the injuries in the head were from a, a hard object that hit them. They are, they are all over the, the head, from the back, the side. It's like they, they were, he was being beaten all over his head, from this side, this side, and then at the back. With the Emmanuel, the young, the young, the young son, he only had injuries at, at the head. There were no, uh, there were no injuries in any part of the body apart from the head. There were no bruises. So the issue of him jumping from the vehicle is neither here nor there. There are even no bruises in his body. So the only injuries in his body, as per the postmortem report, is the injuries that are in his head. The family will pursue the criminal justice system. We have to ensure that the the two victims get justice as LSK, Human Rights and Ipua. I think we have seen all of them here. We are very much concerned and interested in this matter. We will be pursuing to ensure that the family gets justice. From the postmortem report, the first, the Benson one, eh, is consistent to what the police said. He might have, ju he might have, ju have, have a ju jump from the vehicle because there are broken ribs and then there are those bruises in his body. But we know with the second one, there is no any bruise, there is no any, any broken rib. He only has head injuries in his body. Yes.